The process of upgrading Avi is pretty straightforward. Avi is made up of multiple or redundant controllers that are talking to distributed service engines. Since the entire Avi Vantage acts as one single fabric, what this means is that we run the upgrade from the controllers, which will first upgrade and then push out the upgrade to the service engines. So the process is that we're going to upload the upgrade file, the file gets validated, pushed out to the controllers, and then the process of upgrading begins where the controllers will upgrade. If all is good, then they push the upgrade out to the service engines and they upgrade. So what that looks like is we go into the controller, we go into administration and system. So the first thing we'll do is upload our upgrade file. Now that the file has been uploaded, we can start the upgrade process. I'm just going to check to make sure that the file looks good, to make sure that the file works well with your content, meaning that you don't have any issues with your configuration that might interfere with this uh, new software version working correctly. And if that's all good, it begins the upgrade process. The controllers will upgrade first. If they have any issue, they'll automatically roll back, no harm, no foul. But if the controllers uh, don't have any issue, then they'll roll through, install Avi into a new partition, upgrade the configuration into that new partition, and then reboot. And that's what's happening now. The controllers are rebooting into this new partition. And then once the controllers come back up, we can log back in and take a look and see the status. And what's happening now is that the service engines will begin the process of upgrading. So you may have redundant service engines distributed across multiple clouds or environments. You may also have uh, redundant controllers. All you have to do is upload the upgrade file to one location, hit go, and away it goes, it begins. And Avi will take care of the process of put, replicating the file out to all the controllers, upgrading all the controllers, upgrading all the service engines, and we can do this completely hitless without any disruption to end users or, or traffic. So one service engine is completed, the second one is underway, and as soon as that one is completed, then the upgrade will be finished and away we go. So during this process, no clients are going to be disrupted, uh, no issues with this. And now the second one is completed. And we're back up running the new version of code now.